If you have a Lexus GX470 and you want to upgrade the headlights, this video is for you. I'm going to show you what it looks like to install the all new two stroke 4.0 Bob from Morimoto. I'm going to show you how much brighter it is than your stock halogen. So let's get rolling. I had no clue that you guys modify your Lexus GX so much. It wasn't until somebody literally threw me their keys while we were filming and says, take it off road, see what it can do. By the end of the video, we jumped in and pretty much ruined all the suspension components, but hey, it was a good time. I am absolutely sold on this, so I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like to upgrade this headlight. First thing you gotta do is pop your hood. I'm gonna start with the passenger side because it's a little bit easier to get your hand back here. All you have to do is lift up this, and thankfully this is an older Lexus, so most of the push tabs are missing. If you did have push tabs, remove these two here, and then you can lift this up just like that. Oh, there was another missing push tab. It's gone now. Makes our job a little bit easier. You can actually just reach in here, turn the bulb counterclockwise, and literally get your bulb up. If it's been on, like this one, it's extremely hot. It's a halogen bulb. The funny thing is they put halogen bulbs inside of these housings. This is a projector housing. So the idea is that you are gonna have a really good beam pattern. And I'll show you guys that in just a second. It does produce a good beam pattern with a cutoff line. The only thing is they put that dingy halogen bulb and it's just garbage. One, it gets less bright over time. Two, you have to replace it over and over and over again because it's going to burn out. It's really easy to upgrade though. So, Dive in here, turn that bulb counterclockwise, remove it, make sure you don't burn yourself, throw it away. The low beam is an H11 bulb and the high beam, which is right here on the inner side, it's a 9005 bulb. So no matter what aftermarket LED bulb you're gonna put in here, like I said, we're doing the two stroke 4.0 from Morimoto, be sure to get the right bulb size. So if it's an H11 for low beam, buy an H11. 9005, get a 9005. I know that sounds like common knowledge, but believe me, it's not. People think a lot of these LED bulbs are universal. Totally not. All right, so I'm gonna lift this up. I'm gonna change this bulb. And then I'm gonna do the other side. The other side has that battery right there, which makes it really hard for you to reach your hand back there, turn it counterclockwise and remove it but it's possible I already did it over there. When you install these bulbs, I still recommend adjusting them. Thankfully, the 4.0 is adjustable. Take the included wrench. We're gonna put this here, and then we're just gonna loosen up this collar that's on the top. And then what you wanna do is adjust this and rotate it so that when it goes into the backside of that housing, that it sits up like this at the three o'clock and the nine o'clock position. You don't want it to sit like this. You don't want it to sit at an angle. It's just gonna give you the best and brightest light output out of these projector housings. So. Now what we're gonna do is pull this vehicle up 25 feet away from the wall. We're gonna use a digital lux meter that measures the actual usable brightness at a certain point on the wall. Then we're going to measure the halogen lights. That is the benchmark. Then we get to put in the two stroke 4.0 to see how much brighter these truly are. This is what your stock low beam looks like. And as you can see, it looks dated. Just on the wall here, that dingy yellow color is not what you want. Yes, because you have projectors, like I said, you are gonna get a pretty decent beam pattern. So as long as we can replicate this beam pattern and just be brighter, I'm pretty happy. The benchmark for low beam is 310 maximum lux. Don't pay too much attention to the lux numbers because if this vehicle was an inch or two closer to the wall or we had different ambient light or we filmed it on a different day, the numbers will most likely be different. Just look at the percentage change. So when you install the two stroke 4.0 in low beam, look how much different it gets. It is way brighter. And of course you're gonna get that bright white color. Comparing that to that dingy yellow, it really doesn't make sense. From the factory, why would you put that halogen bulb in there? I guess back in the day, the LED technology wasn't nearly as good as it is now. These were about 126% brighter than your stock low beams. Your stock high beam looks like this. Again, really good beam pattern, just a terrible color and not very bright at all. You're supposed to have a bright, punchy high beam that really gives you a safe amount of light way down the road. But when I measured it, I only measured 990 maximum lux. That is terrible. When you install the two stroke 4.0, this is where they shine. Because you've got two bulbs on each side, it is intense to say the least. I measured 2,230 maximum lux. You get that immediate punch of light down the road. And of course you get that beautiful color still. In my opinion, this is one of the best upgrades you could ever do to the front end of your Lexus. Coming in at 125% brighter on high beam, it is a no brainer. Once you install your new bulbs, you do want to align these. This is the way that the vehicle came in here when we first did our test. As you can see, it is super out of whack. 
All you gotta do is locate the top of your headlight housing, take a Phillips screwdriver, and then adjust it, either clockwise or counterclockwise, to move it up or down. You want it to look like this on the wall when it's done. As you can see, the front end of your vehicle looks way better than it used to with those halogen bulbs, not to mention the install is super easy. If you want a dramatic upgrade, but you want something that's built to last, the Morimoto Two Stroke 4.0 bulbs are where it's at. They have an industry leading lifetime warranty. Go out there, have some fun with your Lexus, don't crash it, and we'll see you guys at headlightrevolution.com where we test a ton of other products for your Lexus.